Hello everybody, uh, so this is Project Essence Crafter. This is the Godot 4 project that I've been working on for the past few months. It's using uh, obviously Godot 4 and an SQLite database. So I'm going to log in and uh, you type in your name and it's gonna find your, your data rows. Uh, when you create a character, it's gonna have you like put some stats down. It's like an RPG, uh, roguelike, just a bunch of different things. It's not like set in stone yet. But anyway, you can spend points to increase your affinity with elements, increase your skill points, and uh, assign different stats. If you hover over, uh, you can see what they do. I'm not going to go over all of them right now, but this is just a quick rundown on the game's project, uh, the project's progress over the last 90 days or so. So there is some storyline that since I've already loaded this character, it's not being loaded. I hope to add a log soon so that you can you know revisit all of the text that happened in the past you can also when you level up come back to this scene um so you can get rest here and it refills your hp mp and stamina <clears throat> here's your status screen uh you know there's a lot of feature creep that's happening really soon i might have to narrow some of it down but um this is where it's at right now a lot of these elements that you're seeing are from different humble bundle asset packs and some of them are generated with ai and then i've like pixelate them in different uh, Clip Studio Paint and other AIs as well. And I'm using as many technologies as I can to make the process as fast because, you know, you guys know how long it takes to make a game. Uh, right now, I don't have any equipment uh, implemented, but I have started making the weapons. Uh, I just added a bunch of random things. There's actually 72 different weapons that are in the game right now. These are just random ones, but you can try to equip them if you don't meet the level requirement. It's not going to let you equip them let's just put on an aluminum sword and uh, go back and uh, let's go exploring so when you go exploring there's going to be like uh, branching paths and this is the uh, the main combat system that i started implementing um, you can see that we have a player log here and it keeps uh, up to date and tells the player what they're doing uh, when you get into a combat you see the enemy's hp bar right now it's only one enemy uh, that you can fight at a time you see their level it's random when you're on the world map from one to your current level so you might fight really weak stuff or stuff that's your level uh, at the at this point uh, i'm going to work on dungeons and in the dungeons that you'll have uh, uh like a set level so that the enemies in this dungeon are always between level 10 and 20 or 20 and 30 etc etc so uh, when you learn skills they'll populate this little scrolling drop down list and <clears throat> you know, the damage that's done is based on the weapon you're using, your stats, and your affinity with that element. And uh, it's a turn-based, so you go, they go, you go, they go. Um, eventually, I'll have missing and accuracy and maybe a speed uh, modifier that, like, maybe the enemy will go first when you input your target uh, command or whatever. But anyway, you, you can just explore the area, and you can end up getting items that you find. I want to have little pop-ups so that you can see more things like hey you come across a rock do you want to mine it and then maybe have like a a stone here and instead of and swap these out so that you can like mine it with a pickaxe and stuff <clears throat> i have a lot of ideas and feature creep is a a common problem with a lot of my games uh this is i've i've <laughs> i got past the two month point where i drop all my projects so that means this one's probably here to stay for a while if i if i work on it for more than 60 days then i'm probably going to keep working on it for a while but uh, I, I give up on a lot of projects after about a month or two. So I haven't, and I'm really excited, and I'm having fun working on this one. Uh, I've got some procedural generation going on. So um, you could walk around inside this world map. I don't know exactly what final iteration the game is going to take. I made this tile set. Um, doing some procedural generation for, for the map here. And, you know, I've got some walking sprite animation stuff that i don't know if i'll even keep any of this but i was imagining originally that i would have nodes that you can walk around and harvest nodes like maybe there'd be a mining node here spawn some random nodes in um it, but anyway i'm gonna go back and show you the other part of the game for when you go into a dungeon so we have an inventory i coded all this myself so like you know when you click on this list it's loading some data from uh, an sqlite database based on what items you have and it's populating the description here. You can use potions. If It won't let you waste them, though. So if your mana is full, uh, it won't let you uh, use them. I could show you real quick that it does work. Let's go exploring. And I'll explore the forest. And we'll just get into a fight. And I've taken some damage. So we're going to kill that guy. And then I'll go to my inventory. 
And then, uh, so let's see, I have uh, some stamina missing. So it'll let me use the stamina potion. I mean, you'd waste it at this point because you could just go rest. Um, but anyway, it does work. <laughs> so that's that. Um, if you go exploring, you can explore a dungeon. And this is the dungeon. It's more of a roguelike. I also made this tile set using some other assets. And I just put together like a uh, 32, a one strip of 32 by 32. So you have like a, a floor, a wall, and a door, and some other stuff. But right now, it's only the procedural generation that I've got is only um, doing the, the walls and the doors. And I, they don't look great yet. And But anyway, like I've got the the movement down so that the player is always going to stay on the grid. I do have a little bit of problem with um, the movement though. Uh, maybe one of you devs can help me figure out. I don't know. I'll, I'll post some, some code in the, the game dev chat, but like I, I can do my diagonal movement, right? But when I try to diagonal out of uh, like a corridor into here, it won't let me go because there's like a, there's a wall next to me. So like if there's an empty space next to me, it'll let me diagonal. But if there's a wall next to me, it won't. So I, I'm pretty sure I know where the problem is, but like I just can't figure it out. I spent a few hours working on it yesterday. But anyway, that's basically it. That's the progress. Um, I, I went through and showed all the scenes of the game and um, and all that. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this was an interesting little take on Project Essence Crafter. It's not going to be called that. That's just the name of the project. And uh, I'll definitely give it a different name uh, when I finally release it. But uh, thank you. That's it. So uh, we'll see you in the Discord.